Hello and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will show you how to use datatable.addsheet. In this video I will answer the following two questions. First, what is the datatable.addsheet method? And second, how to write the code to use it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. Now to answer the question in the first topic of what is the datatable.addsheet method, the datatable.addsheet method gives you the ability to create a new runtime data table. By runtime, I mean that the data table will only exist while the test is running. When the test run is finished, the data table will no longer exist. This now moves us to the second topic, which asks the question, how to write the code to use it? For this, I will now flip over to QTP so that I can show you that example. The code to use the datatable.addsheet method is very easy to use since it only takes a few words on one line in a script. I'll begin by typing the word datatable. I'll then type a period. Once I type the period, you'll notice that a drop-down list will appear and it will have several options in it. Double-click the add sheet entry. When you do this, you'll notice that the drop-down list will go away and the word add sheet will now be in your script. We now need to type an opening parentheses, which is shift nine on your keyboard. Then need to type a quotation mark. You then need to type the name of the data table that you want to create. For this video, we'll create a new data table with the name of test. Once you've entered the name of your data table, type another quotation mark and then a closing parentheses. To allow you to be able to see the newly created data table while the script is running, I'm going to press the enter key and then I'm going to create a filler line which um, all I'm going to do is type in the word wait, open parentheses, the number one, and then a closing parentheses. Now what a wait statement does is it pauses the script's execution by the number of seconds that you type inside the parentheses. Now we're not looking to use the wait statement really to pause the script because we're going to be walking through the script's execution line by line, but we just need this extra line in so that that way we can have the script pause so that I can show you the newly created data table. We're now ready to run our test and we're going to be running our test in debug mode so that we can walk through the code line by line. To do this, hit the F11 key. You'll then be presented with the run window. Now to move through this, you can do that in one of two ways. You can either click the OK button or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Once you do that, you'll notice that the background of the top part of your window will turn to gray. That means that your script is now actually running. Now while running in debug mode, you progress through your script by pushing the F11 key every time you want to move down to the next line of your code. So go ahead and hit the F11 key to move down to the next line. By doing that, it executed the line in the script to add our new data sheet. So as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, it has created a new data table and it's given it a name of test. So that shows that the script was able to successfully add a new data table by the name of test. Now I'll go ahead and hit the F11 key just to go ahead and move through the script through the wait statement just to finish the run. Now, let's say you tried to add a new data table, but the data table already existed. If you try to do this, any other attempt to create a new data table that already exists will be ignored. Uh, so you don't have to worry about deleting the table or clearing out the information that might have been within it. This now concludes our video where I've answered the following two questions. First, what is the datatable.addsheet method? And second, how to write the code to use it. As a reminder to stay up to date with my latest videos, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.